Okay, so that's the little triangular part of the mandrel is there. Yeah. Or you can use this. This also has the triangular part, but yeah. I can't get my fingers to kind of torque that. So it's too tight. So, so it's easier if I have this just yeah. to get a mandrel. Okay. And what you're going to do is to reverse the little arrow. So you want to reverse it so that you go to take these off. So I'll take this off. And I'll just kind of loosen them up. I'll do this one. You can maybe try this too. On. Sweet. First. So this is the, the core tool. And on the core tool you can see that it has uh, three parts. There's a part on the end here that helps you to put the implants in. I mean the locator's on and off. There's a little kind of part that kind of attaches to the locator. So it's a smart little tool. Then we have the part that's going to take out the resilient cap, the male cap, out of here. So it's going to pull it out here. And we also have, if we unscrew this, the part that's going to put it in. Right there. Okay, so it's smooth on the end, so it's the part that's going to put so it in. So you can then go back to this one and just kind of put it on and rotate this off. Yeah, because that's easier to work with a little hit. You're going to see how little this is. And so we can see here that that's the little piece. That's how small it is. So when it's held, I'm going to show you an easier way to hold it. But I'll do these and put them on and you can try them. So those are different from the ones that are directly on the gum as opposed to the ones that are on the bar. Same locator but different screw on the bottom. Okay, yeah. So some small. screw into implants, yeah. some go into teeth, and yeah. then others go into yeah. burrs. Okay. When you look on top of the bar, you can see it's been tapped there. Yeah. So that, come close and you can see it. Yeah. And you can see that that tapping is where it's going to go in. So you want to make sure that it gets seated in there. Yeah. And I have PVS material in the holes. I see that, yeah. So just some polyvinyl. So the food doesn't get in there, but we're so gonna put. I'll put out. those two okay. back on. So how often would you take the bar out, or only when you? Not very often. <laughs> okay. So what you'll see is this is a new piece that the locator people came up with. It's a little plastic sleeve that fits over top of the end. Okay. So it helps to hold the locator when you're going to the bar because these are little tiny things. So you have to order those sleeves to have. Yeah. Yeah, because it makes. So it now easier. it holds it better. Ah. Okay. So that little sleeve is holding it. Okay. That's a smart idea. So then this comes back and I'll go on top of the bar. Spin it down. That's okay. <clears throat> oh, and then you just pop that off. Well, that's a handy little thing to know about. Yeah, yeah it's a good little tool. So I'll put the other one in and you can do the others too. And then will you go back to your torque wrench to check? Yes. Yeah. You have to torque them down. Because my fingers will torque them to about 10. And we want to torque these to 25 to 30. So we just go like that and tighten it down. So you just have to make sure it's threaded on the, the bar. Oh, so now we have two new ones on this side. And then you can do those. Are they them. higher or are these ones just that warm? No. That more. Oh wow, what a difference. She's yeah. going to love this when it's done. Yeah. So I'll get you to take the other two off. Are you lefty too? I am a lefty. So once, once you have it's it loose, loose, then you can just, just go, go to the, the other, other one. Okay, because it's easier. We usually try to loosen okay. all of them. This ones. is old. Okay. So the new ones, when they come, they're not sterile, so you have to sterilize them. So now, okay. once those are in place just with finger tightness, then we're yeah. going to take this, keep yeah. your gloves on, okay. and we're going to take this and we're going to rotate this so that it's going to be going in the same direction as the wrench for tightening. So we go on top and put it in, and then tighten this down to about 25 to 30. So that's pretty good there. Vertical over top of the locator so we're not stripping the top of the locator. So you have to have it kind of seated fully like this, yeah. keeping it straight. Yes. Okay. So will you like change any of this during hygiene or will you book them separately knowing it needs to be done? Uh, usually you'd order them and then have them back, right? Okay, because it takes a few minutes, right? And you yeah. throw your day off as we all know. Is that tight enough for you? Yep. Okay. Just between those two lines. Okay. She's 
very good. I had a lovely mouth to work That's wide. So that's good, just like that. Yep. So oh yeah, that's a difference. She'll be happy with that. That's a difference. That was quite loose before. So this is completely supported on implants okay. so that there's no, yeah. it doesn't sit on the soft tissues at all around here. Yeah. So it's an RP4. It's really sitting on that yeah. Yeah, bar. What does she have on the top? Just there's a, a locator here. Yeah. Do mind if we show? No, it has no. no. Nice smile. So we might have to even replace that. that so we have a locator on this side. Yeah. Telescopic crown on, on this side over here. And then two gold crowns in the posterior. Okay. And these don't bother you at night? You don't bite down? You oh, just have mouth no, breathe no, and go? No. Okay. No, dear. Well, Not at all. Like. So we could change that. Is that? Okay. Let's just change that over here. So that looks red. Yeah, we'll change it to a what, red. What, what, red? Red is heavier or lighter? No, lighter. Lighter. Okay, that's so the lighter. So the red one. doesn't have the middle nub on it. So it only grabs on the outside, not the inside. And that's the nib that's going to make it harder to see if you have uh, more than one. So we can see inside of the upper appliance that there's a locator here with a red, telescopic crown here, and then just two C-class on the, on the posterior. So we're trying to get four, four balances. So you can hear that snap, snap in. She still has a little play here. We can tighten that up a bit. We have a three-way plotter. We'll just tighten that up a bit. Okay, and bite together. Better? Oh yes, yeah, so much better. Or we could adjust the occlusion until we get it back, right? Now, why don't you try to get it out again? That should be sitting down a little better, even. Yeah. So perfect. Can I get you to put it back in? Now, how would you say this has been for you? Like, honestly, like, do you think it has been a big improvement for you, or do you think it's? Have you noticed much of an adjustment for you having it? Uh, no. That you mean the the whole procedure? The whole procedure. Oh my goodness! There's no comparison. Yes. I mean, it's been an absolute bonus for me as a as a, a, a very older lady who's had a lot of dental problems all her life, and uh, I have worn a partial up since I was 14 years old. I had the first one, and I'm almost 87, so I've had a lot of dental work, and this has been an absolute. It's been absolutely marvelous from a chewing standpoint. And, of course, being an old lady who still likes to look nice, from an apparent standpoint. Yeah, you do look good. So, um, no, I, um, I'm totally delighted. Totally oh. delighted. Well, thank of course, you. I, my dad, oh. I have a very fine dentist. <laughs> <laughs> I have to put a plug in for him. Yeah. Well, thank you, Marjorie. Okay, so we're going to release you now, Marjorie. I'm ready to fly. You're ready to fly. I hope that, that feels better for you. Oh, it does. This was...